looking at enchiladas callejeras, and we are ready to eat with Pico de Gallo. Gilbert de la Paz joins us to give us a taste of their new Tasty Tuesday menu on this Thursday. Gilbert, some of this you can't even get yet, right? Not yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll be rolling out, especially our new dessert mm -hmm. on Tuesday, if they come in and enjoy the Tasty Tuesday menu. Tell folks what this is that they're looking at right now this in case they missed it earlier. This is a Mexican chocolate cheesecake, oh. and it's topped off with a hot chocolate mousse. Woo! And that one right there, what's that one? And then we, um, we'll be featuring our flan tropical. It's got a mango, pineapple chutney, a little bit of spice. All right, so, so one of the those are the desserts, yes. right? And then this is also all on the yeah, menu. Yeah, so our Tasty Tuesday menu is a lunch menu. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a three-course lunch menu for $15. You get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. And so um, here we have our enchiladas callejeras, which is one of the selections. And appetizers, we have our chulapitas. Um, this is one of my favorites, the cochinita pibil, um, which is going to be offered on Tuesday. And I have how we traditionally make it, and you know, I would like to show you how to make it. So is it all about the marinade? It's especially about the marinade. Okay. All right. Yeah. What, wh how, so how, how do you make it? Yes. So it's going to take all these ingredients. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and start. Um, we have peppercorn, mm -hmm. cumin, mm -hmm. salt, Mexican cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We have um, Mexican oregano, cloves, coriander, and garlic puree. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some onions mm -hmm. and um, a little bit of water. We're going to loosen all that up. Okay. And we're going to put, that? this is achiote. It's uh, made out of a natto seed, um, so it also has other spices in there. And you can find these ingredients um, ready available at um, now throughout San Antonio, the Mexican um, food market. You're going to blend this. And what makes PB was that sour orange juice that you put ah. in there. If you can't find sour oranges, it's OK. Use a quarter cup of um, squeezed orange. And that can substitute. Yeah. and okay. with three quarter cups of fresh lime juice, and you have um, the Ooh, substitution for sour orange. Look so at you, that. You pour this um, marinade over um, pork butt. I cut it up, uh -huh. um, but you can leave it whole, a pork shoulder whole in the bone. But I cut it up so we can mix all of the marinade in there. You're going to um, How long? store it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. for a minimum of two hours, but it's best when it's done overnight. So just, yes, if so you can do it overnight, let flavor. it go. Exactly. <laughs> and then you put in the oven for at 320 for four to six hours. And then what, and you got to wrap it in banana leaves. Banana leaves you can find in the Mexican um, grocery stores now, uh -huh. and even some Asian markets sell banana leaves. This is a flavor also. I was going to say, what, what does it add to so it? So when you wrap it up, um, you, because you're going to roast it with a little bit of water in the roasting pan, uh -huh. you wrap it up and it creates steam. But then again, like I said, you know, it's best to use the banana leaves instead of like foil mm -hmm. because it, it does add flavor to the cochinita PB. And where can you get those again? I know you mentioned like At the Mexican meat markets, okay. mm -hmm. you can find them or some Asian markets. Okay. And they're throughout town. And what happens, you unwrap it and you have this beautiful succulent pork um, that falls apart. Oh, look at that. And we're featuring it like on our um, appetizers, the mini chalupas. Mm -hmm. And if, if you can't wait till Tuesday, please go to Viva Via. They have it every day on their menu. And if you want to eat all this in a private setting, you got party rooms to do that. We right? have party rooms. Uh, we have a beautiful party room um, for all occasions. We just celebrated um, yesterday. They had an anniversary up there. It was very beautiful. All right. Great stuff from Gilbert de la Paz from Pico de Gallo. Be sure to check out their new Tasty Tuesday menu on this Thursday. Why not? Check it out today. All right. And for more information, head to LaFamiliaCortez.com.